Yeah, good morning. President Biden delivering a fiery speech in front of Congress last night. It's also receiving lots of criticism, people calling it a campaign speech instead of a State of the Union address. He also talked about the economy and also the border. That's where Senator James Lankford was brought into the conversation in the senator's bill that was shot down earlier this year. Uh, in more than an eight minute video, Senator Lankford ripped apart the president's address. He says it was a campaign speech, the most divisive he's heard, and that President Biden was pushing socialism in America. But at one point, when Biden talked about the Senate's border bill, Lankford was seen nodding in agreement with the president. 4,300 more asylum officers and new policies so they can resolve cases in six months instead of six years now. He, he never did compare some basic stats with quote unquote his predecessor like how many people illegally crossed the border during his predecessor and how many people are illegally crossing the border now or what the strength of the economy was five years ago versus what it is now. And Senator Mark Wayne Mullen putting out a statement. He called the speech angry and hyperpartisan, packed with falsehoods and out of touch with the American people, saying the American people deserve better. We've also heard from Oklahoma's delegation in the House, including Representative Stephanie Bice. You know, I don't think it was a State of the Union speech at all. It was really a campaign speech. Um, a lot of one-liners, a lot of, I think, issues that are retrospective. He talked about things that happened in the last Congress. He talked about uh, ACA. Those are things that haven't been discussed at all. And so I felt like it really didn't address the things that the American people wanted to hear. So a lot to unpack from President Biden's speech last night. If you'd like a full recap and a breakdown, you can visit KOCO.com. At the Capitol this morning, Cameron Seibert, KOCO 5 News.